If you've ever wanted to use these bidding strategies, well, then you've come to the right place because that is exactly what we're going to talk about today. Facebook offers you a few different bidding strategies and the main difference between them is whether you're going to be setting the bid or if you're going to let Facebook do the bidding for you. Now, before we get into that, let's make sure that we understand what the bid means. Facebook ads is a bidding platform, which means that every advertiser is going to compete in an auction to show their ads to their audience. And the winner is the one that gets to show the ad to the person in that target audience. So this means, of course, that there are bids involved. And this is where the different bidding strategies make a difference because you can either select a bid yourself and use a manual bidding strategy, or you can let Facebook do the bidding for you and use an automatic bidding strategy. If you let Facebook do the bidding for you, it will take your creative and your target audience and it will come up with a bid that the algorithm thinks will be able to get you your desired results for the best possible cost. This is what Facebook calls the automated bidding system. So logically, the first question is, should I let Facebook do the bidding for me for like 90% of people? Yes, you should. Now I'm going to go right ahead and I'm going to say that if you're a beginner and you're just starting out with Facebook ads, if you don't have an ad account that has spent at least a few thousand dollars, then automated bidding is the best way to go. What you should do is just click the link in the right corner of the video and watch my Facebook ads course because that strategy is meant for beginners and it's all about taking advantage of Facebook's automated bidding system. And if you haven't spent at least a few thousand dollars in ads, that is the strategy that you want to go for. Okay, so if you're still here, that means that you're an advanced advertiser and you want to learn how to use manual bidding. Nice. Great, let's get to it. So first, let's start by going over the different options that you have for bidding strategies on the Facebook Ads platform. So Facebook will allow you to select between highest volume or value, cost per result, ROAS goal, and bid cap. Highest volume or value, of course, is Facebook's automated bidding strategy. This is Facebook's automated bidding strategy that is designed to get you the highest volume of results or the best value in results for the lowest possible cost by leveraging the data that the algorithm has on who your target audience is. And again, if you haven't spent at least a few thousand dollars in ads, this is the best way to go. Automated bidding is 100% the best way to go for a beginner in 99.9% .9 of cases. So the next bidding strategy that Facebook offers you, cost per result, that's what's commonly referred to as cost caps. And that is my favorite manual bidding strategy. Cost cap means that you will give Facebook a maximum amount that you want to spend per conversion. So what you're doing is essentially telling Facebook, I wanna get conversions for a maximum of, let's say $5. And what Facebook will do is leverage the data that they have and try and get people to convert at an average of $5 over time. Notice that I said average. This is very important because cost caps is only a semi-manual bidding strategy because you're not actually selecting the bid itself. You're telling Facebook how much you're willing to pay for a conversion. This means that Facebook will optimize the bid to get you average conversions for lower than that cost. This also means that on day one, you might get a higher cost per result. On day two, you might get a lower cost per result and so on. We'll go through this in more detail in a bit when I show you how I make my cost cap campaigns. So the next one is ROAS goal. ROAS goal is also what Google refers to in Google Ads campaigns as target ROAS. And target ROAS just means exactly what the name implies that it means. You set a ROAS and then Facebook will again use its data to try and get you conversions at that target return on ad spend. Again, if you have no data, Facebook has no idea how to optimize for your desired return on ad spend and it probably won't work or it won't even spend money at all. The last one is bid caps. So bid cap means that you're going to set a maximum number on the bid that Facebook can offer for your ads. This might seem very similar to cost cap, but it's actually very different. In a cost cap, Facebook will be allowed to bid higher or lower than your cost cap. What it is meant to do is to be able to get your results for under that cost on average in the long term. A bid cap, however, means that under no circumstances can Facebook go and bid above the limit that you set. So if you say that you're only willing to bid for $1, Facebook will not be able to get you conversions for any more than that. $1 will be the maximum amount that Facebook will be allowed to bid. This is, for example, a very useful strategy to use for lead generation. The downside, of course, of using bid caps instead of something like cost caps 
is that you're not leveraging the algorithm data nearly as much as you could be because you're setting a very strict limit on what you allow Facebook to bid. Okay, now that we understand what the bidding strategies are that we can use, the first thing that you need to know before you even start building your campaign on Facebook is your average break-even cost per conversion. And to do that, what I recommend is that you head over to your ads manager and look for some of the campaigns where you spend most money and look at what the cost per result is on those campaigns and write down that number because you're gonna need it to build your first cost cap campaign. Okay, so to set up our cost cap campaign, we're gonna set up a regular sales campaign set for conversions with purchase optimization. And this is where we need to make the first important change. We need to go here where it says campaign bid strategy. We need to have advantage campaign budget turned on this slider right here. And then we need to click edit on campaign bid strategy. And we're gonna select the one that I usually use for e-commerce, which is cost per result. Once we have that, we have to consider our budget. Now, listen closely because this is very important. When you're using a cost cap campaign, especially if you're still in early stages of your campaign, and if you haven't spent that much money on the ad account, it's very unlikely that your cost cap campaign is going to spend the entire budget. So what I like to do is to set this as at least two to three thousand dollars a day. And the reason for this is that you will get a little bit more priority in the auction than people who have lower budgets because Facebook knows that it can potentially spend three thousand dollars in 24 hours. So there's a chance that it might get you ahead of other bids for like two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars a day. So that's why I like to use this budget. Now, I just want to say that if you are running cost caps for the first time and you have no experience doing it, make sure to monitor your campaign as it goes live every one hour for the first six to ten hours. You want to check your website, see if you're getting traffic, check your ads manager, see if you're spending money. And if for some reason you're spending money and not getting any results, turn it off as soon as possible. Then a very important thing to set in your ad set is your cost per result goal. So everything else in the ad set is pretty standard. The setup is the exact exact same. You can see it on my Facebook ads course video if you haven't. The only thing that you need to change is the cost per result. And this is why I've told you that you need to know what your average cost per result is at break even, because that is exactly the number that you're going to enter here. Let's say that my average break even cost per result is $20. I would come here and I would enter $20. We want to give Facebook as much room to optimize as possible. And if we start with a very low restrictive cost cap, Facebook will probably not even spend the money. And what you want to do is you want to get Facebook to spend. And then as you have more data, you will start restricting and testing lower cost caps to find your sweet spot where you get the most profit. So once you have this, what I would do is I would run this for like a week. And then a week later, I would come back and check my cost per result. If my cost per result is good and my campaign is profitable, I will lower it $3 every three to four days and make the cost cap gradually lower. So I would go from 20 to 17 and from 17 to 14 and so on. And then eventually you will get to a cost cap that is too low and Facebook will start lowering your spend until the point that it will eventually stop. When you start seeing this, it means that Facebook cannot get you any cheaper results. So that's the point where you know that you've reached your ideal cost cap and you can just ramp up the budget and get higher volume for the best possible profit. Now to wrap this up, just to fill you in on the account structure that I use for this, I use the exact same that I use for broad targeting. So I do cost cap campaign with one open ad set, one with a few core interests to my audience, and then another one with lookalikes, just as I've mentioned in the Facebook course. I usually start doing this when I've spent 5,000 to $10,000 in that product, in that pixel, and I know I have enough data to be able to start using manual bidding. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. If you're new to the channel, I always reply to every comment. So if you have any feedback, please let me know in the comments. And as usual, thank you for watching. It is a pleasure to have you on the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.